Now we are going to use some dictionaries to help us encoding and decoding stuff. We will use symbols as an example. Uh, as always, here's the outline of the algorithm we are going to use. It's called LZ77 and the uh, uh, three main uh, steps of the algorithm uh, we will use are written here. So in each step we will decode the longest match by a token that consi consists of offset into the search buffer, length of the match and next unmatched symbol. Then the window, sliding window we are using, also LZ77 is sometimes called sliding window. Uh, the window is shifted accordingly and uh, if no match is found, offset and length of zero are used. We will go to the example now. If you want to properly follow me, uh, I recommend you to write down the steps and follow me. Okay, what is this mysterious sliding window here? Actually, as I mentioned, this sliding window, it is the thing which consists from search buffer and look ahead buffer. This is a search buffer. Search buffer is a thing, is a slot where we are looking for the symbols. And look ahead buffer contains the symbols we are encoding. Here we have already encoded Aksabraka. Uh, we know that search buffer is seven symbols long. Thus we use Xabraka inside our search buffer because it's seven symbols. If you look at the whole word I have written here, uh, A is hanging out somewhere here, we have already encoded it. But we have encoded a sequence longer than our search buffer. Thus search buffer has, uh, has moved a little bit to the right and we are currently in the this interval. This is our sliding window. And I've written it here as you see. Now we are going to proceed with our algorithm. Next symbol is D. And as we should do, we are looking for D in our search buffer. But we can't find it. Thus we encode that symbol didn't match. Okay, you see I have encoded here 0, 0, D. 0 length, 0 offset and D. And uh, I, have, I have moved our sliding window to the right, one symbol forward. Now we have in our search buffer D and A and X already hanging out somewhere outside sliding window. Now here we will use another symbols, but they will be still 6. Symbols. You can think of which symbols we are going to use, but I will show you now. As you can see, D is included. Thus, we use just next six symbols. And uh, now we are looking for another match. What's the next match? Well, we see that Abra here is clearly here. Thus we encode 7, this is offset, 4, length of the match, abra, abra, and next unmatched symbol. This is R. Important thing here, when we have encoded this abra, R is next unmatched symbol. Thus it will be carry here, not here, but here. I made a lot of mistakes about, because of that, but I'm showing you that R from here, it's the last unmatched symbol, it will become last here. We are running out of space, but to our luck, we are at the final step of the algorithm. So, now our look ahead buffer is this rar rocks. What are we going to encode here. Actually we are going to encode ra ra. Why? Because a uh, search buffer only contains ra. But here's the tricky part. If you are looking this for the first time you would probably make this mistake. 
Actually, it works in a very strange manner. This R refers to this, this A refers to this, this A refers to this. But now we are looking at this R, we are looking somehow into future because this R, this slid during the algorithm. And now we encode this R is this R and this A is this A. Thus uh, we produce something like 3 is the length of offset, 5 is the length of a matching word. Yeah, how could that be, that the offset is le is smaller number than the length of match, but this is the tricky part here. And the next symbol is X. And that's it, we are finished our encoding with LZ77. This is the outline for the decoding part and it consists of two very simple steps. I have written it formally and uh, I highly recommend you to write it down and then follow my steps in the example. So, we start with an empty word W. For each token, uh, offset length and some new symbol, I've marked it with N, copy the corresponding symbols to the end of W and add symbol to W. And that's it. I will write down the example now. Okay, this is what we are going to decode and we will use search buffer of the length 7. On the first step this comes to us. Okay, we are we write it down here. Offset was 0, length was 0 and yeah, we just had a C on the second step. C is here, A is here. Because once again, 0 offset, 0 length, A. We just plug it in here. The third step. Same with B. C, B. The third step. We are now feeding our alphabet. Oh, I'm sorry, C A. We are feeding our buffer. Later we will look for symbols here. Then comes R, right? Okay, now we have four symbols decoded. And now something interesting. Because zero offset, it's non zero offset, I'm sorry. Okay, and now let's look what we've got. So, uh, offset three, right? It's somewhere around A, it's A actually, length 1, uh, thus we, we think that next symbol is A, and uh, after A comes C, thus we can write it down. What's coming next? I think this is coming next. We look here, A is Offset 2, it's A, uh, length 1, next symbol is D. So we are writing down cab, ra, cab. Alright. I will clean up a little bit and we'll continue writing from here. So what's the next step? Next step is offset 7, length 4, uh, letter R. Offset 7, length 4, next symbol is R. Thus we produce cover. Is out of the game. Cabra actually. 
even Kabrak. Kabrak. We eliminate C here because we know the next symbol is R. Alright. Yeah. In this manner. Next step is three five D. As I said, it might be a little bit disturbing when you have uh, a longer length than offset because we move in this direction, offset somewhere here and five symbols to here. Uh, it can be a little bit strange, but uh, actually there is nothing strange. This is what we have encoded, right? Adabrar. Next symbols are uh, uh, offset is 3, we start from here, right? And we know that similar to encoding part, we use RAR as next symbols. R, A, R. And we know that length is 5, thus we are, we are here. And thus we use this R once again in this A to decode this. And uh, in principle, that's it. Wait, three, four, five, six, seven. Offset is three. Length is five. So after after step, we know that there are absolutely true that there are three symbols, at least in our offset that we know. We plug them here, and then we are like moving with this moving window and place symbols we have just decoded to continue decoding this current step. And that's the only tricky part here.